Hello, welcome to the Sheep's Garden. Uh, I'm Elizabeth. I thought I would do a small video showing the differences and similarities between the Chao Gu Twist Shorties, the blue version, and Knit Pro's Denim Special Collector's Edition. Um, I bought these both for my own use, just because I, I thought they were really cool. Um, I actually bought these first because I didn't know these existed. And these are a lot more expensive than these. And if I'd have seen these first, I may have just bought these because um, I, I like Knit Pro's products and uh, I, I really just wanted something to knit socks and small things. So I don't know if I would have actually paid the extra for these. Um, as it is, I did and I do actually really like them. They, they're, they're both different. They kind of have their own pluses and, and minuses. So here's the little the sock I was working on in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because this is um, Knit Pro, I can uh, take off the tiny little needle and I will just put a, put a connector cable on to one of my other cables. Like I said, I've been using Knit Pro for a long time, so I have all sorts of different cables. And oops, where that's about to slip off. So we'll put that on there. And just twist that on. Right, so now I can just pull this through. And you can see, um, this is one of the things about the, uh, the Knit Pro. The Knit Pro's connectors to connect the cables are very long, which makes it a bit difficult for these small knitting circumferences. So that is one of the advantages of the Chaogu. The Chaogu's connectors are tiny. You think you're gonna lose them, but they're... Oops, I did this the wrong way. I just pulled that through the wrong way. I need to pull it this way. I'm trying to put it on the pink. Let's see, it doesn't want to go through that easily with the big. There we go. Now it's coming through. Yeah, see, it didn't want to come through the, the big connector. So we'll put a stopper on the end there. Now I can take it off. another stopper on here. There we go. So there I've got my, we can just leave that sitting. We can put that to one side and I can put these back in their bags and I can get them all out and show you how they compare. So I'm going to put those away and then we can look at each bag individually. Okay, so here are my two needle set shorties. Um, these are the Denim Special Collector's Edition by Knit Pro and the Chai Gu Blue Twist Shorties. Um, they both come in very similar packages, little tiny bags with little clips on, which are good because you don't want to lose them inside your project bag. Um, the Chai Gu are, are quite heavier than the, than the denim, um, I think because they're, there's more needles in them and they're metal, whereas these are the wood needles. Um, so let's open them up and have a look. I'm just gonna move them both over so they've got their own space. Okay, we'll start with the Chao Gu. The Chao Gu, little pocket there. They come with the little uh, needle gauge and I also have my stoppers there. So put those down there. Comes with that and then if we open this up, you have to be careful um, when you take these out of here because I found that knocking around in my project bag this turns upside down and the needles come out very easily. They fall out quite easily. So I had um, a bunch of stray needles wandering around in, my, in this bag, so good thing it was, it was closed. So those are the needles that it comes with. Um, it has a 3.5 millimeter, 3.75 millimeter, 4.5 millimeter, 4.5, and 5.5 millimeter. And they come in the two sizes. 
Let's see if I get my little ruler here. You can see it comes with the two lengths, the almost five centimeter length and the seven centimeter length. So those are the needles. And you get three cables. The, let's see, the shortest needle, the shortest cable, sorry, is about, about 14 millimeters, it looks like, about. Those, those, that information you can find off their, their website. So those are the cables that it comes with. It comes with three cables. And it also comes with, this is, I made a little pocket for these. You've got your, your little pins for tightening, tightening pins. Um, it comes with a little set of uh, stitch markers and the very tiny little connector cables, um, which are really useful when you're working with little small circumferences because it doesn't affect the, the circumference if you want to join the different cables. So we'll just, just pop that there. Put that there like that so you can see the, the needles that it comes with. So that's everything that comes in the, the Chagu Shorties Blue. Now the Knit Pro, again, you've got this pocket at the front, very similar. And in here I've got the, comes with two sets of stoppers with the little keys, the tightening keys. Let's pop those over there. And in here, oops, in the zipper there you have <coughs> very similar little pocket for the needles. So with the Knit Pro, the needles, the needles that it comes with are from, you get seven needles and they come from three millimeters up to six millimeters. So you get a, a, a wider needle. So we'll pop that there next to those so you can see how it how it measures to those. Very similar. And, and these are, you know, they're beautiful little wood needles like Knit Pro's needles. Um, and you get two cables. Now the shortest cable is longer than the shortest cable on the Chowgu. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, you're almost, almost 16, 17 centimeters. And the longer one is not as long as the longest cable in the chicken. So there we can leave those. You can kind of, oops, see them like that. I'll just tuck that under there so you can see the, the needles as well. So that's what it comes with. So you definitely get more with the chowgu. You get the needle stopper, needle connectors, uh, cable connectors, sorry. You get the cable connectors, which don't come with the Knit Pro. And uh, as I've said, the Knit Pro cable connectors, um, they're very long, so it would be hard. They're hard to work with if you're doing things like socks. Um, these, I think, are a bit faster because they're very, they're kind of slick with the being metal, whereas the wood is a bit more grippy and a bit slower. Um, I did some ribbing with these and it's, it's quite easy. I don't know whether, I guess it depends how you, how you knit, whether you like it fast or if you need that little extra help in keeping, keeping the yarn on the needles. Um, as I've said before, I love that the Knit Pro, you can you know, use these with any of the, uh, of the needle sets. You, know, you can put these onto any needles. Um, the Chowgu, you can as well, but they have the different sizes in the cables. So I think these are the small, for small cables, these are the small, whereas if the bigger needles are the large, and then you've got the red uh, twisties, shorties, which are the minis. So you'd have to get an adapter to adjust to, if you wanted to use the different cables. Um, here's the, the Knit Pro 40 centimeter cable, which I have in, in my store. And you can see that's about the size of the Chowgu biggest one. So you could always buy additional 
cables for this set if you wanted to work with different different circumferences, you know, without having to use the uh, the cable connector. So that's always a, an, an option. So as I said before, I, if I'd have bought these first, I may have just stayed with these because they, they do what I want. But I do love the way these feel, and the joins are really nice on these. Um, I, I, I think they're very good quality. The, the join is very smooth, and uh, they go on so easily. Knit Pro, I find, always has a bit of a problem sometimes with these joins. When I've bought their different kits, there's always one or two needles that just don't seem to go on that smoothly or that tend to stop, like right there, um, which is what happened with these when I first bought them. I had a couple of the needles were stopping and weren't going on the cables. But I found if you just keep swapping them and changing to the different ends, the different cables, put different needles on, they loosen up. I think it's because maybe there's paint or something on and they kind of get stuck with the paint. But I found if you just keep changing them over, they work. You know, like I said, when I first bought this, I had some of the needles weren't fitting on the cable, but now I've swapped them all around and I've got every needle to fit on each side of the cable. So I know there's no problem now with them. But I have found that does ha sometimes happen with the Knit Pro. Whereas these, I had no problem. They just, they just glide on, they're beautiful. But again, you are paying almost twice as much for these. So if you're, if you're you know, a serious sock knitter and you love knitting socks and you love knitting things in the round, um, I definitely think these are, these are a good investment, um, especially with all the different uh, lengths you can do. You know, where you can, there's lots of variety and lots of variation having these different needles. Um, again, if you've already got a lot of Knit Pro, these, you know, you can just put them whatever cables you've got, you can use them with the cables you've got and just you know, knit something, go reducing your circumference if you need to. I think they're both great and, and fun. So I hope this uh, little demonstration or little display of the two sets um, was helpful and thanks for dropping by. Ciao.